Good evening, and welcome to a reading from the Psychedelics Encyclopedia. Subject, Lysergic Acid, LSD. Dr. Hoffman, accidental discovery of LSD in 1943, proved to be an interesting move into the psychedelic era, all the way back in 1943. To begin, his accidental dosing of himself with LSD-25 produced the following results from Dr. Hoffman. I suddenly became strangely inebriated. The external world became changed as in a dream. Objects appeared to gain in relief. They assumed unusual dimensions and colors became more glowing. Even self-perception and the sense of time were changed. When the eyes were closed, there surged upon me an uninterrupted stream of fantastic images of extraordinary plasticity and vividness and accompanied by an intense kaleidoscopic play of colors. After about two hours, the not unpleasant inebriation, which had been experienced while I was fully conscious, disappeared. Later, I asked my laboratory assistant to accompany me home as I believed that my condition would be a repetition of the disturbance of the previous Friday. While we were still cycling home, however, it became clear that the symptoms were much stronger than the first time. I had difficulty in speaking coherently. My field of vision swayed before me, and objects appeared distorted like the images in curved mirrors. I had the impression of being unable to move from the spot, although my assistant told me afterwards we had cycled at a good pace. Again, later, the faces of those present appeared like grotesque colored masks, strong agitation alternating with paresis, the head, body, and extremities sometimes cold and numb, a metallic taste on the tongue, throat dry and shriveled, a feeling of suffocation, confusion alternating with a clear appreciation of the situation. I lost control of all time, space, and time became more and more disorganized as I was overcome with fears that I was going crazy. The worst part of it was that I was clearly aware of my condition, though I was incapable of stopping it. Occasionally I felt outside my body. I thought I had died. My ego had suspended somewhere in space, and I saw my body lying dead on the sofa. I observed and registered clearly that my alter ego was moving around the room, moaning. I found further surprising about LSD was its ability to produce such a far-reaching, powerful, inebriated condition without leaving a hangover. Completely to the contrary, on the day after the LSD experiment, I felt myself to be in excellent physical and mental condition. A sensation of well-being and renewed life flowed through me. Breakfast tasted delicious and was an extraordinary pleasure. When I later walked out into the garden, in which the sun shone now after a spring rain, everything glistened and sparkled in a new, fresh light. The world was as if newly created. All my senses vibrated in a condition of highest sensitivity that persisted for the entire day. It also appeared to me to be of great significance that I could remember the experience of LSD inebriation in every detail. Pretty strong stuff there from Mr. Hoffman.